Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Psalm 139 is a, a meditation on the nearness of God. God has an intimate knowledge of every dimension of our lives and every moment as well. I'm reading Psalm 139 verses 13 through 16 from the New Revised Standard Version. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. You beheld my unformed substance in your book were written all the days that were formed for me, when none of them as yet existed. Each part of our bodies, each detail of our lives, fits within God's design. Sometimes we have a way of, of limiting what we, what we think God is interested in about, about our bodies, about our lives. But really, God is interested in every detail. And we are invited to offer each detail of our lives back to God as an offering. Sir Thomas More lived between 1478 and 1535. He literally gave his life in order to remain faithful to God. He did not support King Henry VIII when the king decided to break with the Roman Catholic Church, and this cost Thomas More his life. Sir Thomas More had a whole and complete faith in God. In one of his prayers, he prays about the details of his life, and it is a prayer that shows his sense of humor. Give me a good digestion, Lord, and also something to digest. Give me a healthy body, Lord, with a sense to keep it at its best. Give me a healthy mind, good Lord, to keep the pure and good in sight which seeing sin is not appalled, but finds a way to set it right. Give me a mind that is not bored, that does not whimper, whine, or sigh. Don't let me worry over much about the fussy thing called I. Give me a sense of humor, Lord. Give me the grace to see a joke to get some happiness and life and pass it on to other folk. The prayer exercise might be a little bit tricky to accomplish. The next time you laugh, give thanks to God for a good sense of humor. Now, humor is something that is very spontaneous. It's not something that we can intentionally decide I'm, I'm going to laugh at something so you really do have to be ready in the moment but if you think that might be just a little too much to to manage in your prayer time just sit and smile and give thanks for the love and the laughter that God gives to us